so the new logic just dropped and I honestly have not had any chance to take a look at it at all. So what I wanted to do was take a look at some of these session players. Got a new keyboard and bass player. So I wanted to check that out a little bit and I thought maybe you'd like to come along for the ride, see if we can make some interesting music just using these session players and basically nothing else. Maybe. All right, let's dive in. If you haven't been here for a while, you know, hit that subscribe button if you want. Cool. All right. So let's just start with our keyboard player. Uh, let's see. We got freely, broken chords, block chords, arpeggiated, simple pad. Uh, no, 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 let's do broken chords. That could be fun. And use default chord progression. Hmm. Curious. Default chord progression. Maybe that's something that we'll have to deal with over here. Details, manual. Oh, man, this is, uh, this is a whole thing. Look at this. Cool. All right. So let's see what this sounds like right off the bat. smaller so you can see the whole thing there you go that was crazy moving myself a little bit over here see if we can find a good space for me oh hey how about right here yeah hi hey everybody wow that was gorgeous let's see okay so that's like a nice a section maybe we'll have this repeat one more time and then we'll have a bass player come in so let's add here bass player cool put you over here right Melody root only. Oh, I like that. That's interesting. So what that means is whether or not it's going to ask you to do like just playing the the root note. So the letter name of the chord or it'll like kind of add some more notes in between and create a little bit more of a more melodic bass line. This is interesting. All right. Let's see what the bass line sounds like without the keyboard. It's just one note essentially. It's basically the same here. Oh, look, we have chords here. Now we have this new chord feature going on. Yeah, looky here. See, this is moving here. This new arrangement track part of the <laughs> menu. Uh, so there's there's this new chord component here. You can actually, can you change this? Create chord, paste chord, yeah. And then, so you, this is where the chord progression lives and you can see how like the same input on the instrument here is being reflected over here, but we have just this A minor chord instead. And that's why this bass player was just bass, well, just playing A minor. So if I take this, what can I do? Can I move that? Yeah, totally. There we go. Oh, there you go. See, now the bass player changed a little bit. A second was there a legato a little glissando down there that... yeah that is a really really nice touch listen again you can hear the subtle nuance of adding that articulation i can't tell you how much that adds to the musical or the musicality of the of of a performance right so being able to get this amount of musicality just like off the bat like this is kind of amazing maybe let's add a little bit of fills to this some notes. Yeah, let's see. Oh, hello. 20% fills. See how that sounds now. Really wish they would tell you what notes they're hitting to some degree. Maybe there is a way they show that a little bit. No, not really. It looks like, oh, it slides. Okay. D ooh, double stops. Wow. Create a manual pattern. I love this. I dig this a lot. Is that just notes? I guess we'll find out. Let's put more notes. Even more notes. Some octaves. Okay, 
like not bad. This part here was a little bit awkward right there at bar uh, bar bar fourteen. This a little this little guy right there. It's a little awkward. Not not the most musical, but uh, honestly, the fact that that's kind of the worst offender at the moment is kind of kind of incredible. What happens if we just plus it, right? What's gonna happen? I wonder. Oh, same thing. We just default to this A minor. Ooh, hold on a second. I'm getting vibes now. I'm getting vibes. We'll just do roots, right? I'll we'll make this back to some notes, none, medium. I liked that. Maybe get a couple more fills in there. Now for this one, root only. Um, yeah, some long phrasing. I just want that low A. Give it to me. Thank you. So no octaves. Okay, I see what this, what the the way this pattern works now. So this representation here, these are just giving you the bars, right? So this is the dark note. These dark circles here are telling you when the bass note is actually going to be hit. These smaller circles are telling you when they're not going to be hit. So the big circles, it looks like, are the hit, but maybe they'll be less. Uh, Strong? Let's see what number two sounds like. Put this on here. Let's go back to pattern one. I think that was fine. Let's get some drums in here. Yeah, you know, it's um, pop rap, some retro rap. Yeah, some retro rap. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you over here. And it looks like Virtual Drummer changed a little bit now. That's cool. I do like that you can create your own pattern now. That is the it, for the drums. That's huge. Well, let's take out uh, the snare for now. Just the hi hat. Take down the intensity quite a bit and the complexity. Okay, so instead of the grid, right? Cause this complexity intensity, this used to be a grid over here, but now that we just have these these sliders. Oh, I dig this. Definitely go more in depth with this than you can with the old virtual drummer. Uh, and that's a good thing. And these feel a lot more useful. Like now I think what I'd rather do is perhaps go here instead. Yeah. And then go back to details. Keep go bring it back to standard. I hate that cymbal sound. <laughs> I will say that. I hate that cymbal sound. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Like I think I want the ride for this. Yes! 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 There we go. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so then now we're going to kind of jump in with the snare drum. Yeah, so okay, this top line now is the snare. You couldn't do this with Virtual Drummer before. You couldn't, like, really... Uh, you couldn't decide which of the symbols were actually going to be used. You just kind of had to sit there and mess with the the sliders and mess with the the grid as it was as it used to be in order to actually have the algorithm do the right symbol that you're looking for and just kind of play with it. The fact that you can just change it makes it that much easier, that much more comfortable. I still kind of don't like that crash sound though. Wait a second. You know, I wonder. Can I do this? Can I... Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? <laughs> Guys, I think I could do that.
that's huge. That's huge. The fact that I can use all of this stuff with my own drum sounds with superior drummer here in this case, which is literally, this is superior drummer too. This isn't even the newest thing. The fact that this is even working is kind of amazing unto itself. Now we have all three of these set up, right? So this is just vamping on an A minor. Now, what I think I wanna do is grab another keyboard player, and this is gonna be uh, Freely, okay. Um, and you know, if you can change one of the instruments, that probably means you can change more of them, right? So that's kinda cool. Take this, and instead of having this be the piano, I can put in my contact seven and maybe like that's just like writing a violin part. But I, I suppose it won't be really like dialed in for violin in that sense. Uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna net the best results. Hey, hey, hey. Cool, yeah, you're just changing where that is. And that's good because over here now, I can take this, move this a little bit closer down here, so now we have this studio grand kind of doing something more so on the lower end of the piano, this side on the right piano. So we're doing a little bit of mixing here using the instrumentation rather than like an EQ plugin or something. back over here and what I really want to do also is bring this chord progression back now that we've had a little bit of a break from it we're going to bring our snare in and follow the chord let's see what this sounds like <laughs> that's awesome I wonder, can you even, t yo, that's exactly what I wanted to do right here. Oh man, yes, take away one of the hands so that you, ah, oh, great, hold on. Okay, maybe we don't want a full chord, maybe a uh, fixed enter, oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. Look at that. We just created this really kind of amazing piece of music very easily. I barely even touched this stuff. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's get some guitar in here. Good job, Apple. Good job, Apple, on this update. This is really, really cool, especially the way this uh, perhaps gets potentially, you know, used in GarageBand will really blow that wide open, but at the very least, even paying 200 bucks for life to get access to stuff like this, you can't you can't do much better. And that you know that there is only going to be more from here, right? There's only going to be more, um, 
more more session players added. Before we know it, we're going to have a vocalist. Likely, we're going to have guitarists. We're gonna, it's it's all coming, right? So I think that this is a great little bandwagon to get on. I have no affiliation with Apple or or Logic or anything like that. Um, I just think they're kind of great. Leave a comment below with what you thought, and maybe if uh, if you'd like me to kind of go through the nitty gritty of all of these controls in us in another video. Leave a comment down below and uh, and I'll do that for you. One of the things that really made this work for me was right over here, being able to turn off this left hand because that means you can really get to dial the melody in. And dial in a melody, that's like one of the most important things, right? Everything else is just kind of vibes without the melody. So if you want to make sure that your melodies are up to snuff, you should check out my free guide, Seven Ways to Write a More Effective Melody. There's a link down there in the doobly-doo. Thanks for watching and for hanging out with me. Thanks for writing some music with me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.